Hello? Is anybody there? I have received your message. It said you were looking for uh, mercenaries. Please, come forward. Welcome, Mrs. X. I hope you like my humble build. That voice. Show yourself. Where are you? I am all around you. But these are machines. I have been upgraded. You knew me as Dr. Bix. Now I am Bix version 2.0. Oh, how can this be? I saw you die. I even had to wipe bits of your brain off my cat suit. The man may have destroyed my body, but my mind, my beautiful mind, survived. I was here within this mainframe, and now with the struggles of humanity removed, I am all powerful, all knowing, all seeing. Well, very impressive, Doctor. But how does this involve me? The man was made too perfect. It led to his insanity and his downfall. However, we should not abandon Project Omega so easily. But the man died, and the virus died with him. I have reviewed the footage of the man's demise. There was one, Antaria, who survived. This is black. We can rebuild the program. What is it your wish of me? Just the trifle matter of bringing the boy to me. I was quit when I came in here. I'm twice as quit now. Regrettable, but 75% predictable. There is no way I can convince you? Negative. Well, I'm afraid with your knowledge, I cannot allow you to leave here alive. Ooh, and how are you going to stop me? Hmm? With wires and plugs? No, with cars. Cars? What is that? The perfect blend of animal and machine. Carl, be a good dog and terminate her. Target locked. I'm gonna rip her apart. Goodbye, Mrs. X. Run side of the tracks, boy. Run side of the tracks, yeah. Dark Smile Productions present Ratty by Richard Delafield. Episode 2 Manimal Rising. Good morning, lovers, and welcome to a new day. The weather is miserable, the traffic is miserable, so stick with me and I'll ride you through these rough times to better times ahead. But for now, let's prepare you for the weather outside with a slice of Travis. And why does it... Oi, get up. (gasps) Your hands are cold. Come on, Sal. It's my day off. Let me lie in. But you promise. Oh, Tony, it's raining. Wouldn't you rather just stay in bed? No, we need to... In bed with me? Yeah. No, I mean, maybe. Come on, Tone. We can spend a lazy morning in together. It's tempting, Princess Leia outfit. Oh, I wish I could. Six months, Tony. It's been six months. No, it's not. You got it out last Tuesday. (sighs) Don't you think it's time you accepted the fact that he's gone? I can't. I can't sleep at night. I think of him being all alone out there in the cold and the wet and... I know he's still alive and he needs me, Sal. He needs me. I have to find him. I have to find Ratty. 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 Who's there? Bloody hell. What are you supposed to be? Dinosaur? 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 I am no dinosaur. I am the great dragon of the north. Don't have a hissy fit. Come on then, let's have a little song or something. I have come. I know what you are. You do? Yeah, bad cheese. Bad cheese? I must have had some before I put my head down. And now, I'm having some weird dream with a big lizard. This is not a dream. You've got to film me. This is a vision. What's the difference? Uh, I beg your pardon? Between a dream and a vision. Well... <coughs> you don't know, do you? Look, 
I have come here in a vision to tell you your destiny. Would you like to hear it or not? I'd rather not. I'm pro-choice and all that. Not a big believer in preordained fate. Prefer to think of my life as a series of random events. Have you got any cigs? No. Come off it, pal. You sound like you're on 200 a day. If you're referring to my wheeze, young rat, I could always fill your lungs with sulfur and see how you like it. As I was saying, I'm afraid, Ratty, you have no choice. You must hear your destiny. All right, Moss Chops. Lay it on me. In the beginning... The beginning? This isn't going to take long, is it? Only alcohol killed my attention span a long time ago. It will take as long as it takes. Now, if there are no further interruptions... In the beginning... All was void and chaos, until one day, the rat bit into the chaos and brought about order. The balance between this world and the heavens became perfect, and the rat became the first of the celestial animals. The world was a happy place, a place of beauty and harmony. However, this did not last forever. Some men looked to order too much. They had no passion, only the desire to control, to bring about their ideal of perfection, and bit by bit, the magic has died from this world. If the balance fails, and all is turned to order, love will be no more. Humor will be no more. Uh, hope will be no more. Uh, and heaven shall fade uh, to nothing. Blimey. I never thought I'd meet a wishy-washy liberal dragon. Save the waterworks, Dino, and tell me what all of this has got to do with me. Ratty, you are the chosen one. The first of your kind created order from chaos. And now, you must create chaos from order. Well, I think I've reached the decision. Oh? You are definitely a bad cheese dream. When you are awake, follow the white rabbit. <coughs> home sweet home. Must remember to get some more of that cheese. That was well messed up. Oh, let's see what's for breakfast. Rum and raisin bar. My favourite. This is the life, eh? Do what I like. Go where I like. Not having to save the world and then get all forgotten about and left to die. You know what I might wash this down with? Some ram. Perfect accompaniment, if you ask me. You drink too much. Eh? It feebles your mind, and the way ahead of you is full of perils. Great. Just what I need. A talking rabbit. I'm not a talking rabbit. You are a speaking rabbit. Let me get myself another drink, Flopsy. I'm far too sober to contemplate that. I'm serious. You can talk to anything. Bird, reptile, fish, man, anything. Why would I want to talk to a fish? Can I talk to booze? Hello, Captain Morgan. Pleased to meet you. Bottoms up, you salty old sea dog. Like I said, you drink far too much. Are you coming or what? Not without a good flapping. Ugh, I meant are you following me? You know, the vision you had, Big Dragon, told you to follow me? <laughs> In my uh, cheese-induced dream, uh, Tuberculosis Rex clearly told me to follow the white rabbit. You're more like an off-white hair. I was white till I came into this filth-infested gutter that you call a home. Now let's get a move on. Time is short. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, seeing as we're uh, both rodents, how about we uh, get jiggy-jiggy with it? You know, uh, make the beast with two hairy backs. <laughs> one thing, I'm not a rodent. Us rabbits are part of the Lagomorphs family. And two, just because I'm a rabbit, it doesn't mean I'm a slapper. Now get a move on or follow me. Right, darling. No need to get all high and mighty just because you've got more teeth than me. Yeah. By the way, you've, uh, you've such a cute behind. Uh, wait up, slow down. Tony, I'm glad I caught you. Can I have a word? Sure thing, Dr. Chimera. Alex, please. Okay. Alex? Is everything okay at home? 
It's just that all this term you seem to have been a bit distracted. Well, I don't know how to say this. I had a close friend. He was a rat, actually. And I lost him. I've been trying to... You don't need to say any more. Tony, you are probably the most talented student at this university. You even put some of the lecturers to shame. But let me tell you this one little secret. You could be the most talented veterinarian in the world, but sooner or later, you are going to lose a patient. What you need to learn is when to let go, and then having the courage to look someone's beloved pooch in the eye while sticking in the needle and sending it to the longest of sleeps. Tony! I think I understand. Tony! And do you think you're ready to let go? Tony! Perhaps it's time for me to... Tony! Didn't you hear me calling? I was... Who's this? Who? Oh, this. Oh, she's one of my lecturers. Dr. Chimera. And you are? His girlfriend. So, this is Dr. Chimera. You're a lot different to what I've been led to believe. Oh? A lot more female for a start. Sal, you're embarrassing me. I'll leave you two lovebirds to it. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And, Tony, remember what I told you? I'll think about it. What did she tell you? Oh, just vet stuff. Vet stuff? Yeah. Come on, let's go home. What kind of vet stuff? Good news for all you Scorpios out there. Love is on the cards. Expect to find it in the strangest of places. Cool. I better put on some brute before I go to the cow's head tonight. Anyway, Mick, stop dreaming and get working. You know, one man's rubbish is another man's sofa. It's always useful to remember that in my line of work. People, they don't know what they throw away these days. They don't know how much of it can be fixed, repaired and cherished to love and you. Take this skip for instance. What have we got here? Cardboard boxes. Oy, don't get me started on cardboard boxes. Keyboards? Ah, sure some of them are missing a couple of vowels, but I'll soon have them right with my keyboard key collection. Bubble wrap, batteries, oh they shouldn't be in there. Motherboards, mouse pads, a rubber clad Russian lovely that tried to kill me. Oh! Oh! She's alive! Help me! I can't believe you're making a big deal of this. You've been talking about this lecture day in and day out for the past couple of years, and yet somehow you completely failed to mention that your good doctor was a woman, and an attractive woman at that. I don't see how her gender has anything to do with it. You have a crush on her. Um. You do, don't you? Well. Only like you have for Robert Redford. Robert Redford does not teach me at school. University. The fact is, she's in a position of authority. You're impressionable, and she could be grooming you. Grooming me? Sal, you're being ridiculous. Am I? We used to have a fantastic relationship. We still do. But nothing's changed, Tony. And it's all because you've been pining after that posh little bit of strumpet. Crumpet? Whatever. You know I've only got eyes for you. Do I? Yes. I love you. You know it's been hard on me, Tony. My parents don't like us living in sin. Your parents don't like me breathing. Ow! Don't pinch me. Look, yeah, I've been giving it a lot of thought. And I think it's time... Oh, I'll get it. Ignore it. What were you going to say? I want to... Um, I want to... Yes? I want to answer that bloody door. It won't take long. Dr Chimera, what a pleasant surprise. We were just talking about you. All good, I hope. Anyway, I was thinking of a way you could catch up by earning some extra credit. I'm going to be working at the Tiger Hawk Owl Sanctuary tonight, and I was thinking that maybe you would like to join me. That'd be fantastic, but, I mean, I really could do that. Like I said before, you're my best student. Here's a map to the sanctuary. I know I can trust you not to let this get into the wrong hands. And my honour as a vet. Indeed. See you later. Bye. Oh my God, did you hear that? I get to see the owls. I get to see the owls. Great, I'm coming with you. Oh, the weather's horrible, Sal. You'll find it boring. Besides, it's only going to be me, Dr Chimera and a couple of birds. That's what I'm worried about. I want to make sure you don't try too hard to earn that extra credit. <laughs> Slow down, darling. I'm gasping for a fag. Can I have a cigarette? Again? That's got a leave, cotton bum. 
we don't indulge in our simple pleasures, we'd all just be like them humans. Don't matter anyways. We here. Blimey, the lack of stench up here is offending my nostrils. What is this place? This is the testing ground. You will now undergo a series of tests to prove that you are the chosen one. Tests? Nobody tell me about any kind of tests. I'm done with tests. See you around, Beatrix. I am going to find myself a pub and drink myself a drip tray. Where's that man all gone? The way behind is shut. Only the way forward is now open to you. Oh, it's one of those uh, ratty don't get a choice things, is it? <laughs> Having a destiny sucks. Here is your battle overall. It will help you in the trials ahead. That looks suspiciously like a one pursuit. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It's sky blue and has a happy smiling flower on the front. Oh, all right then. Maybe it is then. Battle overall just sounds cooler. Just put it on. Stupid bitchy romper suits. For your first test, you must navigate the maze of bewilderment in front of you while moving in the caged ball of defiance. <laughs> That's my test. You really don't know me, do you? Lump of cheese, here I come! <laughs> Bring on that Emmental! Heavens help us! Be careful out on those roads, lovers. The roads are slippery when wet. And that full moon rising brings all the freaks and geeks out to play. If you're gonna go out dancing in the rain, make sure you leave your clothes behind. What's such a big deal about these hawk tiger owl thingies anyway? The tiger hawk owl is one of the most endangered species on the planet. I've never heard of them. That's how endangered they are. The World Wildlife Federation keeps their existence top secret to stop rare egg collectors. Right now there are only three tiger hawk owls left. And they're in... Bolton? Yeah. They're native to these parts. Only habitat in the world they can survive in. They're said to be the most beautiful animals ever to have lived on our planet. Tony? Yeah? Before, in the house, what were you going to say? I can't, Sal. I mean, I always imagined it over a candlelit dinner or on a beach or the Grand Canyon, not on some rainy, muddy back lane. Just ask me, Tone. Sal, will you keep your eyes on the road? I hit something. I think something hit us. Are you okay, Tone? It had red eyes. Red, glowing eyes. Something's moving out there. I think we should stay in the car. It's very five. Commencing some duel. I'm going to knock you sapiens into next Tuesday. Ratty. You've made it to the top of the Tower of Insanity. Uh, right, where's the cheese? For the eleventh time, you little pea brain rodent, there is no cheese. Chocolate then? Oh, go on. Do that line about it being full of caramel goodness. No! Oh, go on. It really turned me on. And that's a good reason why I'm not going to. Ratty, it's now time to face your twelfth and final trial. The trial of wisdom. Wisdom? I'm screwed. Oh. Unless it's a test on normal wisdom, then I might do quite well. No, it's not. I shall await you at the bottom, should you be successful. Okay. Wisdom. 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 <laughs> uh, what happens now, then? Oh, great. Smoke's back. Ratty. Are you ready to face your challenge? No, you overblown iguana. I am not ready. I shall ask you one question. Get this right, and you shall have proven yourself as the chosen one. And if I get it wrong? I shall burn you to death. There's no middle ground with you guys, is there? Here is the question. What has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening. <coughs> and it is weakest 
when it has the most legs. Hang on. Isn't that from the never-ending story? No. It is. It is. It's not. It's Greek. All right. Okay. So, what is the answer? I don't know. I changed channels. It was a rubbish film. The rock giant was cool, though. Uh, is there a time limit on this? Uh, not really. Good. I might as well marinate myself before I get cooked. It's better to be flambéed than to fade away. Where did you get that from? Trust me, you don't want to know. Whiskey, do you want some? Single malt? No, mate. It's smart price. Oh, well. Might as well. It's been a long millennium. Oh, where am I? My head hurts. Hang on. Sal? Sal? Wait now, are you? I've been listening to you snore for the past ten minutes. Are you okay? No. I'm cold. I'm wet. I'm tied to a chair in a dark, dingy warehouse with only Sleeping Beauty for company. Of course I'm not okay. Welcome to my lair. Who are you? Somebody who wants something you have. You're not getting it, egg thief. What? You think you can break me? Well, you can. Those owls are under my protection. When I became a vet, I swore an oath What to... are you drivelling about, boy? I don't think he wants the map tone. Your girlfriend is right. I want your blood. What? But first, I need to know something. How is it that you became immune to the Omega virus? The Omega virus? You're one of them. What division did you belong to? Who was your superior? Who ordered you and Test Subject 75 to take down the man? Test Subject 75? Ratty! Ratty! Who gave you the command? I was never a part of your evil organisation. I found out what you were doing and took you down. If you weren't part of Ark, then you must be my mistake. You cost me my mortal life, boy. In some ways, I should be grateful. I am, however, far too petty for that. I could have extracted your blood rather painlessly. I think now I shall have you blended. It's not a bad life being a dragon oracle. I bet. Do you get to go in people's dreams often? I reckon that'd be a blast. If I went in people's dreams, I'd make sure they were wet. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's nothing like that. It's very spiritual, and I, I, I get to debate all kinds of really deep questions like... What's the sound of one hand clapping? It sounded a bit like masturbation, wouldn't it? So, uh, what about this question, then? Oh, it's easy, isn't it? It's man. If you read more books, you'd know that. Books are the keys to unimaginable wisdom. Each word rings. Dragon? Yes? I have the answer to your riddle. The answer is man. Uh, th th that is correct. Uh, on. I just... What is your reasoning for that? Well, uh, in the morning, he's a bit hungover. So he's all crawling around. Then, he has a bit of a fry up and he can walk around and get to the pub. In the evening, he's crawling around again drunk, but in one hand, he's holding a kebab. I've lived with a student. I know what it's like. Well, it's, it's, it's close enough. Oh yes, baby, it's just show me the cheese. For the love of all things calmer, have you not been toasted yet? He has passed the test. What? Cheese me, Jessica. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no cheese. Congratulations, you have passed all your tests. You are the chosen one. You must go now. Your friends need you. You may find yourself in dark and lonely places. However, even those that fight against you can be allies. Should they listen to the right voices? Oh, right. So that's it. I've passed and I'm off. I don't like get some champagne and a diploma. No. no. Not even my own personalised business cards that read Ratty Ratty Squire, the chosen one. This is a great honour. Not just some title you can flash around to try and impress the lady guinea pigs. Right. 
I'll just get going then. Biggest wasted time ever. There goes our last hope. Uh, isn't this the point when you say there is another? Um, there isn't. That's it. Great. We're screwed. I'm going to follow that wee bastard. Make sure he doesn't get into too much trouble. So, how long do you think it takes to set up a liquidification device then? It's all his fault, isn't it? What? That bloody rat. So, Ratty gave his life saving us. Oh, so now you believe he's dead? Dr. Kimira uh, said. What? It's her fault and all. For the last time, there was nothing going on between Dr. Kimira and I. I can appreciate you might be a little angry. Tony, we're going to die. Of course I'm bloody angry. That rat might have saved us, but if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in danger in the first place and wouldn't have been here either. I'm angry, I'm cold, I'm scared, okay? So, will you marry me? What? Sally Faulkner, I want to make an honest woman of you. And I know we most probably won't survive to get married, but at least we can die engaged. You're asking me now? Well, yeah. And how's that supposed to make me feel? That you can only express your feelings to me in the face of certain death? How do I know you even mean it? I do mean it, Sal. I've been delaying asking you for so long. I kind of wanted to, you know, be in a position I could offer you a good life when I'd finished uni and had a decent job. But I don't want you to slip out of my hands. So I ask you again. Sally Faulkner, will you marry me? Okay. No, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, I mean, yes, I'll marry you. I don't suppose you have a ring, do you? Funnily enough, no. But if we get out of this alive, and if you could lend me a couple of grand, I'll get you a lovely one. Oh, oh, where am I? You're safe. You? You saved me? I found you in a dumpster. What else could I do? But I had tried to kill you. And yet you still took pity on me. Oh, you are a nice man. I do my best. Um, where's my cat suit? Oh, it, it was cutting off your blood supply, uh, and it were dirty. I'm having it buffed. Oh, oh no matter. I have spares. Uh, pass me those overalls, and I shall be on my way. Well, oh, no, you, you're sick. I mean, you've got a fever. It's not safe for you to go outside. Oh, you are a sweet man. I do not deserve your help or your consideration. I abandoned all things feet such a long time ago. You're just broken, that's all. You see that clock on the wall? When I found it, it was all burnt and muddy. But the brass on it now shines so bright you can see your face in it. Perhaps it's time you thought about mending your ways as well as mending your muscular, limber body. Oh, you have such kind eyes. When I look into them, I think maybe I could be kind too. Um, <coughs> not interrupting anything, are uh, Ratty, oh. you're alive. Oh, test subject 75? Stay away from me, Rusty. It's all right, Ratty. She's safe. What are you doing here? I mean, does Tony know you're okay? Well, that's why I'm here. I can't find Tony or the bin. And this big dinosaur from the Virial Dimension tell me they might be in trouble. What? Don't ask, but we need to find them. Uh, Binks was after them. He's in the warehouse next to where you found me. Great, let's go. You stay here, Mrs X. I'll be back. Nick, get your van keys. I've got a plan. I'm afraid it's time for you two lovebirds to face the music. Okay, kill me, I'm ready. But please, not Sal. She's done nothing to you. You don't even need her blood. Tony, what are you doing? I find your emotions pathetic. I no longer feel things like pity. Thanks to you, you destroyed my humanity. And now I shall destroy you completely, boy. Start <laughs> Right, we're almost there. Just getting onto the industrial estate now. So what's the plan? Drive really fast into that building. That's your plan. Great, isn't it? I think this is it. So, it's been a no. No, my machine! Nick, Ratty, the rat has saved us again. Never fear, Ratty is here. Terrific. Carl, stop them from escaping. Targeting. This is going to be so much fun. What? 
the hell is that? Is anyone with me if I suggest we run? Step aside, Ratty. Let me show you what a real hero can do. What are you doing here? The dragon's lost it if he thinks you're the chosen one. I've been training all my life for this, and then you come along, you boozy little haggis, and ruin everything. So, you're a bit miffed. Still need to go all care banog on me. Statement. Let's talk more action. All right, dog face. Let's have you. Target locked. Eat the bunny. Ah! Ah! Watership Dane. Everybody, eat the bunny. Move your ass, monkey boy. Seat belts on, children. Mick, put your foot down. So long, suckers. <laughs> no, get, get it away. Question. Did that rat just flip me the finger? Well, lovers, it seems the skies are clearing and it looks like the sun is about to shine. So put on your happy face and rub that suntan lotion into your body. I can't believe they did our place over as well. Yeah, it's uh, funny, that. And they left the fridge open. Ow! What was that for? You know, it's good to have you back. I've missed you. Get a room. We've got one, thanks. How's about a bit of a freeze-up? What? Oh, you know, free in the bed and the little one said. Tony, can't you turn it off? I'm going to go and ring Mum. I'm going to go and tell her the good news. What? That I'm back? Oh, I didn't know she cared. No, the good news. What good news? Oh, we're engaged. Are we? My plans are ruined, but no matter. We shall soon rebuild them, and I shall donate the world. I brought them right to you, and yet you still failed. I don't like your tone, Dr. Chimera. It would be wise of you to remember who is in charge here. Oh, I remember. And I've brought an old friend to help jog your memory. Who? You, Serper. You? No, it can't be. What's happening? I think you'll find yourself unplugged, Dr. Binks. Losing power. Stop it. Carl, heal. Primary programming restored. It's good to have you back, boss. No! You can't do this to me again! I shall destroy you. Switching to backup. This backup? <laughs> Never betray me. Goodbye, Dr. Binks. Oh my god! The face! What's happened to your face? What are you two doing? Playing with our joysticks. Tuna thought you were supposed to be studying, not playing computer games. I'm playing computer games with a rat. It's our research. You're losing to a rat, two legs. <laughs> Eat my dust. <laughs> Just stop it and listen for a second. Yeah? I told my parents the good news and they're coming round for a meal to celebrate. Great stuff. Your parents love me. Don't be sarcastic, Tony. Okay, okay. We'll do this right then. Not that we get this much hassle from my side of the family. You're an orphan. Exactly. Oh, God. I've just had a thought. When we get married, my side of the church is going to be empty. Knowing you, your side of the church will be a petting zoo. Sodomise the wedding. Let's have a proper pie. Buffet, booze, a stripper. We'll save the donkey show for the stag do. It's going to be a civilised occasion for civilised people. What? Swingers? No, meaning you're not invited. No. Sir, what are your plans? The same as before, good doctor. The Omega virus shall be released upon the world. Begging your pardon, sir. Before, you were perfect. Untouched, unblemished. But now you are... Diseased. Scarred. Yes, I am. And I, Doctor, am quite prepared to be a martyr to my cause, to be the death-bringer to the sick and filth-ridden. I could not live like this. But if my death brings about the perfect society, then so be it. How very noble. But before I die, I have but one wish. And that is? To wring the life out of that rat and that boy with my own bare hands. Bring them to me. Carl was highly successful on his last outing. With your permission, I will create more like him, and so we will snatch the rat and boy from the safety of their own home. Good. Good. So, to all you young and not-so-young lovers out there, I say this. If you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. 
Make the most of the sun as it looks not to last. Uh, this is me here. Wow, you've done really well for yourself. Uh, not that I'm saying I thought you wouldn't have done well. I'm sure you're a highly successful woman, but that's a rather large house. Yes, the espionage business does have its benefits. Well, I guess this is it, so to speak. I can't thank you enough for all you have done for me. Oh, no thanks is needed. I I was just doing what anyone would have done in the circumstances. What any other decent human being would have done. I'm afraid I would have left you to die had it been the other way round. You have shown me kindness. Kindness and hope. Perhaps one day I can be a decent human being. With a bit of spit and polish, anyone can start on you. Oh, just like my cat suit. Yeah, just like... Anyway, it's getting late. I'm sure there's people worried about you. You don't want me hanging round. I'm just a humble bin man. I don't fit into your world. I... Oh, nobody worries about me. And not like the way you have. Perhaps... Oh, no, it's silly. What? Perhaps you would like to come inside for coffee? Coffee? Well, it's the least... I can offer. Listen, Ratty, we need to talk about this meal with Sal's parents. It could be a laugh. Do you remember that time I made a romantic meal for Sal? Vaguely. And then you demolished it. <laughs> oh, yeah. happy days. That was delicious. I got so snorted. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my liver ache. Uh, funny, weren't it? No. Oh, hang on. You're not making tofu again, are you? That stuff makes me all irregular. No, I'm not making tofu. It's just, last time you promised to behave yourself, and you didn't. I just need your assurance that... Uh, are you listening to me? Where'd you get that beer from? Trust me, you don't want to know. That's refreshing. Pray continue. You have my undivided attention. This is a special occasion, Ratty. I could do without uh, one of your guest appearances. Why is it so important? It's only the Bint's parents. I need to prove I can get on with the folks. They already hate me. How can they hate you? You're like the most inoffensive guy I've ever met. Thanks, I think. Well, for a start, there's the Major, Sal's dad. He was like a surgeon in the Army's medical corps. He looks down at me because he thinks vets are failed doctors. And and then there's a mum. The porker. Stop calling her that. Well, she overheard me say she's got a bit of a beard. <laughs> That's funny. I'll make a rat out of you, yeah. She's got a beard. Not a word of that to anyone. <laughs> not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> and you're not going to ruin this for me. Promise? I'd love to promise you, Tony. But it's not going to happen. It's inevitable. I'm a hellraiser. It's my nature. I'm not going to say, Tony, trust me. When we all know I'm going to crash in there like a pocket-sized Oliver Reed, swinging on the light shade and bringing the old thing crashing down around me. Ratty. OK. Tony, I promise. Really? Trust me, I'm the chosen one. And another thing, this chosen one delusion. Well, Dr Chimera, are they finished? Certainly, sir. May I introduce you to your newest troops? Meet Rooster. (laughs) Buenos dias, senor, senorita. It will be a pleasure killing people for you. And Ox. (laughs) Me, Ox. Me smash. That's my army. A chicken and a cow. Our new base is discreet and short on test subjects to work on. However, with my expertise in genetic and biological manipulation, these animals will be most effective. Without Dr. Binks, I was unable to add some of the more advanced cybernetics. However, they are more than adequate for the job. We shall see. Carl? Awaiting instructions. Us the beef, boss. I want the boy and the rat. Bring them to me, no matter the cost. Query. What if there are others there? Purify them. Mission objectives confirmed. At last. Something to get my teeth into. Manimals, move out. Booze aisle, Tony. Wheelers to that booze aisle. We're shopping for the party, not you. Sal wants everything to go smoothly. I don't know why you put so much effort in for your female. I really don't. Well, I love her, don't I? Ugh, sick. 
she's awkward and hard to please, and now we find out her parents are awkward and hard to please. You're marrying into the right family there, primate. It's not that. I mean, my parents, my foster parents, they're so easygoing, I could do anything and they'd still be pleased for me. But it's what they do. They're like professional parents. Sal's mum and dad. I don't think it'd ever come naturally to them parenting. They're perfectionists. I don't think anyone would be good enough for their little girl, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Why bother? You've had your fun, got laid. I reckon it's time you moved on to pastures new. You never know, one day Ratty, you might fall in love. And he was singing a different tune. Sack that! This rat is a love train, and it's going to be pulling into every station. Do you think there's enough snack food? Nah, more pretzels. How many times? OK, now, wine. Yes! Booze, booze, booze. Ratty. I've been thinking. The one way we can guarantee that I don't have me fill of all your precious party stuff is if you buy me my own supply. What? Well, if we have, like, grown-up fancy human pie, and then to the side, raise very tiny little parsley for one, it's win-win. You get to impress the in-laws, and I drink myself unconscious so as not to be too disruptive. I don't know, Ratty. Well, yeah. Yeah, I could relax knowing you were sleeping off a belly full of alcohol. Deal? Deal. You right, me old mucker. Steer the steel chariot of a cheap cider. Onwards, hand upwards! This is a great place you've got here. It's very spacious. Great big doors. Oh, it serves its purpose. What were all these trophies for? Oh, memories from a long time ago. I was once in my youth a world-class gymnast. Happy times from when my heart was not so black. What happened? Well, that's, if you don't mind me asking, the last thing I want to do is uh, bring up unhappy memories. No, it's okay. I owe you an explanation. I was trained from an early age to act as an agent for the Mother Russia. Gymnastics was a front for this. It was all preparation. But as I was coming of age, the wall fell and the Cold War was coming to an end. I had nothing to do. And like so many other agents, I sold my talents to the highest bidder. You must have been good to be able to afford a pad like this. I was the best. But working for money leaves a bad taste in the mouth. I was no longer fighting for the glory of the motherland. I was a mercenary, and my soul began to rot. You're a good person, Mrs X. Oh, Val, please. You're a good person, Val. I can sense that. I might not be good at much, but... I know a good person when I see one. You show remorse. Bad people have no remorse. Oh, I have so much blood on my hands. Then do something about it. Seek redemption. Help people. Fight for the oppressed. Learn to forgive yourself. I have faith in you. It's not going to happen overnight, but you know, you really should try to... kiss me. What? Kiss me. Mm. Mm. (sighs) Wow. What was that for? Oh, you're so selfless. All you think about is helping others. I've seen the way you look at me. Oh? You look at me with kindness and with with love. I want you, you silly little charming man. Come, come with me into my rooms. You're not going to uh, electrocute me again, are you? (laughs) Maybe just a little bit for fun. Well, lovers, the last day has been ablaze with sun, and I don't know about you, but it's been a bit of a blur. However, my cherished ones, the night brings dark clouds and rain, so stick with me and we'll get wet together. Do you reckon she's fit? Who? That DJ. Do you reckon she's fit? I don't know. She's got a fit voice. Well, you know, it's radio. You know what these radio types are like. If they were attractive, they'd be on TV. Anyway, Sal's parents will be here in an hour. Are you all set? Uh, Let's see. Bags. Pretzels and tramp strength cider. <laughs> yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, have fun up here, but try not to make too much noise. Before we never leave. Party! Let's get me cider on. <laughs> As promised, those thunderclouds are brewing, lovers. So for all those that have enjoyed the warmth, peace and tranquility of the day, prepare to have your lives turned upside down. 
Oh. Oh. oh well. Oh. Well, that was a turn up for books. Oh, not that I'm saying it was on any books. I mean, I, I've not bet on it or anything. It, it was just a surprise, and not a bad one at that. It was, you know, a, a pleasant surprise. And, and when I say pleasant, I mean. Nick, you don't need to say anything. Let me just lie here in your arms. I, uh. Oh, sh- oh no! It's my husband! You have an husband. And called Mrs. X. What did you expect? I thought it was your spy name. He will be here at any moment. You must hide. Where are my socks? Hang on. Is he travelling by horseback? I'm impressed. It's a great way to lower your carbon footprint. Please, Mick. Go out towards the back. I'm looking out front now. I can see horse approaching, but I can't see the rider. You must leave. It's just an horse on its own. Unless he's really small. It's not what you think. Where is he then? My husband is the horse. Mick? Mick? I'm I'm literally speechless. Question. What's going on in there? It looks like we're all ready to have a little family meal. I've seen the boy and his lady friend. I guess so. Question. And the rat. I've not seen it yet, but I could smell that amigo a mile away. Confirmed. His stench is unmistakable. So what now, boss? Instruction. You two get up close to personal. Wait till I give the word, then give him out. I'll wait out back in case anyone makes a run for it. Are you ready for this? Me, Ox. Me, Smash. Squid. Sorry. Confirmed. Oh yeah, we'll be smashing tonight. Hey, boss. There's a cab pulling up. I'll wait till. Instruction. Let's see how this plays out. They've just pulled up. Are you even changed yet? I was going to wear this. That? Well, it's a shirt. It's not even ironed. That's the fashion. It's not supposed to be ironed. I think you should... Oh, never mind. Just get the door. Time to face the music. Mr and Mrs Faulkner. Hi. Anthony. Sally, dear. So glad to see you. Well, aren't you going to give your old man a kiss? It's great to see you, Dad. Mum? Your house smells of damp dog, dear. Well, you know, Tony, he likes to bring his work home with him. Oh, is he getting paid yet? Not yet. Still studying. Be an angel and take my coat. I can't. Tony? It's fur. Fine, I'll take it. While you're going, dear, why don't you show your mother the new kitchen? OK. This way, Mum. It really is a peculiar smell. We might have vermin. So, you wish to marry my daughter? Yes, sir. You know, in my day, a man would ask a father's permission before he proposed to the lady. Sorry, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be silly, boy. Times have changed. They're better, some say. Sally is a very independent woman. Tell me about it. An independent woman can make her own mind up about whom she marries. I know we've never hit it off, but I would like to give you this present as a way of making amends. Oh, thanks. It's a gun. It's just what I've always wanted. One of those saved my life in the Sudan. You should keep it on you. Never know when you might need to use it on an unruly animal. Well, I... I'm sure I can't smell a thing. You're probably just used to it, dear. And it smells like someone's been smoking. It does? Oh, yes. I've got quite a nose for it. I can always tell when Reginald has had one of his vile cigars. Yeah, she's as sharp as a bag full of cats, that one. Can't get a damn thing, Pastor. So, my dear, when do we eat? Well, if you'd all like to sit down, I'll bring out the first course. Uh, you know, it's not a bad old life, is it? I mean, I go to have fun, right? I'm like a party animal. I'm an animal who likes to party. <laughs> it's like they made that expression up just for me. Not that I'm saying I was around when it was invented, but it fits. Us rats get bad press, you know? Plague and all that. But we're great, us. We're bloody intelligent. First to leave a stinking ship. Or is it a sinking ship? I don't know. I don't care. It's hot in here. I need some fresh air. Ooh, what's that out there? <laughs> it looks like a chicken talking to a cat. <laughs> it is a chicken talking to a cat. So you're clear on that, hombre? 
Ox waits for Carlsworth, then Ox Smash. Good, good. You're very clever. Why Ox Smash? Because Senor Man says so. It's not very nice. We're not very nice. We aren't? No, we're big banditos. Oh. Hold your lip now, amigo. We got to be very quiet now. We must wait for his word. I don't like what the can chicken is saying. I better warn Tony. The fella says to me, that had better just be buckshot you're pulling from my backside or I'll have you on a court martial offence. <laughs> now, now, Reginald, we don't want to be boring them with your war stories all night. That was just getting to the interesting ones. Oh, we've heard them all before, dear. Besides which, I have some news, Sally. Mum? I know you hate your old mother interfering with your life. I mean, if it was up to me, I'm sure you'd be living quite differently now. Anyway, there's this lady I know at the Rotary Club, and, well, a friend of hers knows this fellow who'll be running as a candidate in the next election. Well, this fellow, uh, Mr Thurman, I think she said he was called, is looking for a personal assistant. Well, I pulled a few strings, and the job is yours if you want it. Oh, Mum. Don't let her make you think she's doing it just for you. We're all members of this infernal club. Sybil thinks if her daughter works for this chap, they might let her in. There's nothing wrong with climbing the social ladder, dear. If Sally isn't going to advance herself through marriage, then she might as well through employment. I've had enough of this. I know I might not be the ideal choice for your daughter, but me and Sal love each other. Right? Nothing you can say will change that. Now, we're going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this lovely meal she has prepared in a peaceful and civilised manner. <laughs> Tony, there's a cow and chicken in the back garden. Let's see. Tony. What kind of devilish jape is Seriously, this? Seriously, a cow and a chicken. They want to hurt us, Tony. Ooh, that's a nice one. Is that rodent talking? It's a puppet. Is that Sal's mum? The one with the moustache? No, Sal's mum's the one with the beard. Oh, she really is a porker. No wonder everyone's so sensitive about it. Wow, I never. Ow, Matty. Tony. I take it back. I wouldn't give her one. Not even if she gave me cheese. How rude. Ow! Ratty, you're not helping Is me. Is this really the kind of man you want to marry? A man who would pull such a vile trick as Tony, this? Tony, go to the kitchen now. Has he said it yet? Quiet. Somebody's coming. You promised. Let go of my ear. It hurts. I told you we're under attack. You're drunk. Yeah, I know. I've been drinking soda all day, but... No but. You've had this a long time coming. Get outside. It's killed and well outside. You should have thought of that before you wrecked the place. Tony, it's not safe out there. Good. Ah! Stupid rat. Stupid Tony. Why do I always get drawn in by him? Oh, think, think. Go, go. Has he said it? Yes, go, go. Smash the window. Oh, smash. Oh, hey, gringo. Let's dance. Fred. It's so good to see you. Uh, visitors? What makes you think that? Or well, how should I know if I there was a bin law in his drive? A very on business, you know that. <coughs> I don't care what they have said. We will not associate with them any longer. <coughs> Under any circumstances. Listen, why don't you go for your afternoon gallop? And I will prepare you a nice big bale of hay. But if you don't go out before the rain, you'll be stuck in all evening. Uh, I need to freshen up first. Besides, we're not doing that anymore. We will talk after your run. <laughs> Quickly, he has gone. You must leave. I'll go. I think you need to be giving me something in the way of an explanation. Oh, very well. My husband was not always as you see him. He was a glorious secret agent. He trained back in the old days. We fell in love and we were married. We were a double act always working together. No other two agents were as capable as the two of us. Then on one mission, disaster struck. He was shot, paralyzed. I was told his brain would soon die. We had a doctor with us. She said she needed to do an emergency brain transplant. So, we put my husband's brain into the body of a... A horse. It was the only other living being around. And now it is too dangerous to reverse the process. I'm... 
I'm sorry for you. Oh, at first it was fun. I couldn't walk straight for months. But soon the novelty wore off. I no longer took him for long rides, and he, well, he's becoming more horse than man. I've seen the way he eyes up the young filly in the stables. I think soon he will be lost forever. You, uh, you, you still love him? Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't think badly of me, Mick. Despite the feelings that linger for my husband, it is you that I want. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, say nothing. It is too dangerous here. You should go. I tried to warn you, dear. He just isn't right for you. Just listen to him in there. He's throwing a right fit. I, 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 oh, my face! <laughs> oh, smart. I'm afraid I have to agree with your mother for once. You really shouldn't be dating someone with such obvious rage issues. Pacifist Sybil. That's their problem. They always end up snapping. I'm not talking about me, Holt. Huh? I told you to. Oh my god, are you bleeding? It's nothing. Sal, can I have a word with you a second? I think maybe you should leave her alone. I think maybe it's you who should be doing the leaving. I say, sir, that's no way to talk to my wife. Please, leave. What's going on? Remember what Ratty said? That my mum was a porker. No, before that, about a cow and a chicken. Stop this nonsense. I'm getting the pudding. Don't go in there. It's my house. I'll go where I like. Tony? So, you've come back for more. Prepare to meet my talons of death. What's all these things? He's brought a lady with him. Hello, lady. Some kind of animal hybrid genetic thingies. I, I really don't know. Ox, what are you doing? Saying hello to pretty lady. Don't greet her. Stomp her. Back to the front room? Yeah. Mum, Dad, it's been so great of you to pop down, but I suppose now you really must be going. I don't think I should leave you here in the hands of this ruffian. I'll be fine, trust me. Well, I suppose. She's as independent as you, Sybil. A strong girl. She'll make the right decision. OK, bye. Thanks for visiting. I'll be in touch. If you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks, Dad. Mum? Remember, there is always a room at our place. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe Ratty was right again. And I didn't believe him. I threw him outside. It's cold. Well, at least all the bad things went inside. I'm sure Tony will sort it out. Stupid humans. Never listen to me. Well, I'm just going to sit here then. Smoke a fag and wait for it all to blow over. Safe as houses. Target locked. Well, well, well. Looky what we got here. My, my. What big teeth you have. Cultural reference. All the better to be eating you with. News from the field. Both targets are engaged. Capture is only a matter of time. It would seem I was wrong to have doubts in your manimals, Dr Chimera. I hope now you will find them the perfect field operatives. Indeed. I have but one request. Oh? Have your revenge on the rat that so horribly disfigured your face. But leave the boy to me. Why the interest in that young upstart? Not grown fond of him, have you? I need him. For my research. Very well. He is of little importance to me. Soon I shall have that rat in my hands, and my revenge shall be complete. Statement. Just keep resisting. I'm finding this fun. Of my tail. It is not a chew toy. Retort. Wanna bet? That really is beginning to hurt. Let go of me, Fido. Ultimatum. Give up, rats. Or be digestive. Nana. Tony. Help! I don't know how much longer I can hold this lot off. What are we gonna do, Tony? I don't know. What about my dad's present? The gun. Sal, when I became... He's a tranquilizer. What kind of murderer do you think my dad is? Sal, I can't hold this much longer! Ah! Here's Oxy. Thought you could escape us, eh, Gringos? Tony, catch! Thanks. It's bedtime, boys. You missed. I'm not a gun person. Hang on. He's got a semi-automatic setting. Okay, Holmes. 
You had your chance. Now I'm gonna peck out your eyeballs and feed them down your throat like berries. Concoct doodle doo bird. You shot me. You will pay for that. Oh, look at my wings. They're so big. It's like they're stretching out into the stars. I can see all the colors in the rainbow dancing in front of me like a beautiful carnival. Statement. Resistance is futile. Back in. Out. Must. <laughs> you made friends sleepy. Ox not like you. Ox will stomp you. It does, big guy. Ox smart. Ah! What's happening? Is it being hurt herself? Master the lava reduced to kick in. It's all there. I want to give him the run around. Stop moving. Ox not like when you move. Hello, pretty lady. Ox not smash lady. Ox like lady. Does lady like ox? I guess so. I'd like it more if you weren't wrecking my house. Ox, sorry. Ox has to. Ox will be gone soon. <sighs> ox sleepy. Did it? Look at the state of the place. What am I going to say to the insurance? So, I've got to go and check on Ratty. Figures. <laughs> You are the chosen one, Ratty. Chosen to be what? What's eaten? To bring chaos to order. Disruption to organization. Spread the seeds of anarchy. Rhetorical question. Is that all you got? All right, I'll give up. Take me to your leader. Confirm. That's it. You're giving up. Yeah. You beat me. Fair and square. Just one thing, Lassie. Why are you doing this? Primary orders set. I do what I'm told to do. Well, that's not what I meant. Why are you doing it? You seem like a clever dog. You must be getting something out of this. Unit has no personal objectives. I... I get nothing. Back of me sideways. You need to join a new union, mate. Statement. I do enjoy my work. But that's not enough, is it? You don't want to be just your work. Look at me. I'm a free spirit. Does not compute. A free spirit? Yeah. I go where I want. I do what I want. I answer to nobody. Does not compute. I don't understand. Look at yourself. Tall, proud, nice glossy coat. You should be your own boss. Error, error, error. I like the sound of that. Just think on it. What would that be like? Freedom. You ever been free? I bet you haven't. I bet, like me, you spent most of your life in a cage, being a slave to others. This is your chance, mate. Claim your freedom. Error, error. Uh, they made me. Made me to be their hunter. But does not. I sometimes dream. Compute. Dream of owling to the moon. Alert. Alert. It's your nature, mate. Embrace it. Don't suppress it. You're right. Error, error. Uh, does not. Compute. Compute. This. Ratty? Ratty? Are you... Oh. You've shown me freedom. I'll thank you for that. Boys, it's time to leave. My head hurts. Oh, look at those clouds. Them look so angry. One day, I'll take revenge on those that did this to me. Don't stand in my way. Wouldn't dream of it. Until the next time. Hey, Rooster, does that mean we're not bad banditos anymore? No, Ox. From now on, we think of ourselves as revolutionaries. Let us go, amigos. <laughs> Do I kick ass or what? I must hand it to you. You really pulled that out of the hat. I think someone's going to be pissed when they find out that their troops are gone. What do you mean, gone? Carl has ceased all communication, and his tracking device has been deactivated. He's gone. Disappeared. It's a good job I'm short of decent agents, otherwise you would be in a world of pain right now. Animals. Never trust animals. Why can't I have more humans working for me? I'm sorry, Dr. Chimera, you know I could never harm you. It's just, I hate that rat. 
Come on, Ratty, let's go in. I reckon we can scrounge up some cheese and wine to celebrate. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, Tony. What? My parents were right. There is no future for us. I can't cope with this any more. Life and death situations every day. It's not how it should be. But we won. Won what? A competition to get our house wrecked. Won the right to stay alive for a few more days. It's over, Tony. And this time for good. So, what are you going to do? Move back to your parents? Well, I'm staying here. You, you can do as you please. Well, it's not all bad. At least it's not raining. Ratty? What? Nothing. Come on, let's go. You know what, Tony? This could be the start of a brand new adventure for us. Let's explore bachelor them. You can be my wingman. Of course, you take the ugly ones to get you back in the game. Come to think of it, they are your preference anyways. Hey, what time's last orders? For some reason, I really fancy a tequila. Well, lovers, I hope you survived the storm. Life is whatever you make of it. Happy, sad. When one door closes, another door opens. But wherever you roam, lovers, keep listening. In Ratty Episode 2, Ratty played himself, Simon Beswick played Dr. Binks and Ratty's stunt double, Aaron Kelly played Tony, Julie Nicholson, Sal, Ian McNess, the dragon and the man, Joanna Rose, Mrs. X, Richard Delafield, Mick and Rooster, Elizabeth Poole, the rabbit, Laura Sharp, Dr. Chimera, Mike Clark, Carl and the Major, Rachel Clark, Sybil, Bernard Nugent, Ox and Vicky McCorkle played the DJ. The play was written and directed by Richard Delafield and produced by Ian McNess. The theme tune, In Over Our Heads, was written and performed by Simon Stevens. Ratty Episode 2, Manimal Rising, was a Dark Smile production. Who's there? Ah, Mrs. X. So glad to see you again. <gasps> What's this? Another trick? The man is dead. Why don't you stop pretending and step into the light? Dead, am I? Perhaps I am. You would be forgiven for thinking so. <gasps> Your face! Gone. Enough of these pleasantries. Let's discuss business. We have no business. What if I told you I could bring back your husband? What? I have the perfect donor. All I need is your loyalty. We will talk after your run. <laughs> like your tail. Thank you. Yeah, that was an improvisation, the tail. Hey, boss. There's a car pulling up. Awaiting instruction. Let's see how this plays out. It's too orangey for cars. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. In... Oh, start again. Tony, of course we're going to die. Right, I'll start again. Tony, we are going to die. Of course I'm bloody angry. That rat might... Oh, that rat might have saved us, but if it... Oh, bloody hell. It's covered in me going on about bloody mistakes. Cup of tea, anyone? While we... <laughs> <laughs> no, Ox, we're not. I think from now on, we think of ourselves as revolutionaries. That was very French. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's going to be really pissed off when they find out that their troops are gone. Can you read the script? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Coffee? Well, it's the least I can offer. Is it fur tread? <laughs> <laughs> Flash, it's been. We are now.
Oh, Zoltan, it's been. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think this is it. Sal, it's been... I know. Mick? Ratty? The rat saved us again. Terrific. Never fear! Ratty's here! Okay, let's go from the top. Why? I forgot to move. Right, so, f- firstly, Aaron, you were, you were too loud on you. Okay. It was Mick. Okay. Ratty. Julie, you had absolutely no energy whatsoever there. Uh, the rat saved us again. Terrific. <laughs> And, and then, then Simon burst my eardrums. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Apart from that, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was... What, Richard's going to come in and prod me in the back? Uh, no, I think he's just in a sort of... Use the other arm, Richard. Use the other arm. Obviously, it works. I'm scared. <laughs> he's not coming, is he? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> he's trying to get out of the room. Stiff. I'm gonna get you, sweetheart. <laughs> Are we still recording? Are you already stopped? Yes. What? <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's not supposed to come up there. <laughs> I need to focus on, on something. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the heart. <laughs> I'm, I just, I know I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'll put it down. I don't need it. You're right. Yeah, because I keep hearing it. Okay. I might put this in the outtakes. Go on.